Maintaining winter egg production can be difficult. Here are some reasons you're having trouble with egg production and what you can do about it. One reason egg production is slowed is the environment for which the chickens live in. It's stress free, like make sure it's predator proof. What we did here works really great for us. We haven't had a predator problem this winter. We did have a bad one a year or two ago where a mink attacked our flock and then our chickens quit laying because they were stressed out. So what we did to keep that from happening again is we built a permanent chicken run. Getting down there so that we can get all of this new fencing in. And we dug down about two feet with wire all the way around the perimeter of the outside of our coop, as well as the inside we put wire down and then we also put pallets on top of it. So I think what my plan is, is I'm gonna split this into a couple different chicken runs. That'll make it so nothing can get in, and then the chickens aren't stressed, so they'll continue to lay better. Having clean bedding is also really important for the chickens, so we use pine shaved chips here. Coop space is really important. We have plenty of coop space. We have our meat birds over here in this coop, which also goes outside into a nice chicken run. And then we have the back coop here for the chickens and the ducks, which does have the ability to be opened for more space into the main chicken coop. And that also goes to the outside run, which is really nice because they have plenty of space to run around. Nutrition is really important in the winter. It's one of the reasons your chickens may stop laying eggs from lack of calcium and protein because they're not able to forage quite as much as they are during the summer, spring, and fall. So what we do is we put in cracked corn, we also put in oyster shells, and we also buy different feeds that have protein in them. It's also nice to treat your chickens to mealworms from time to time for a little bit extra protein. Another great treat for chickens is table scraps. Uh, so just whatever you had for dinner, lunch, or whatever, and you didn't eat it, don't throw it in the trash. Just throw it out to the chickens, and they can eat most things we do. When you do feed your chickens table scraps, make sure you do not throw onions, asparagus, or avocados. Those are not good for chickens. So there are a few things you should avoid, but most fruits and veggies are just fine. Lack of daylight in the winter can also lower egg production in your chickens. When you don't have enough daylight, you can always supplement with just regular lighting in your coop. They need 12 to 16 hours per day. You can always set it on a timer, which works great in the seasons where it isn't too sunny. Molting is another reason your chickens may quit producing eggs. Chickens molt for the first time about 18 months and then once a year after. During that time, it's when the feathers come out and they regrow feathers so they aren't going to be producing as much eggs because their bodies are working on producing and regrowing feathers. There isn't a whole lot you can do about molting except for to keep the coop warm and to make it as stress-free as possible. Age is another reason your chickens may quit laying. One thing you can do about that is um, we got these new Americanas. They're called pullets. So they'll start laying here shortly. Another thing you can do is incubate. And these white ones right here and that one right there are actually chickens that we incubated from our existing flock, which was really exciting. So when the older ones quit laying, then we'll have these younger ones ready to lay so you never run out of eggs. Chickens usually live anywhere from 8 to 10 years. This one might not live that long if it keeps flying over my head. If you want to learn more about raising chickens in the wintertime, check out this video. Thanks for watching today and I hope this information was helpful.